This is a quick tutorial on how to set up your Google Analytics with Google Tag Manager. So first, you have to go to the Google Tag Manager uh, website and log in with your Google account. You can create a separate account if you want, but I prefer to use mine. Once you log into your uh, dashboard, you create a new account. My recommendation is to create an account per website. So we go to new account and create the account. In this case, since I'm giving an example from one of my customers, I'll call this the real estate customer. You, you can decide if you want to share your data or not with Google. I'll choose no. Click next. And then you have to name your container. In my case, I'll call this container the customer container. The container is the code that holds your Google Tag Manager and will hold all your tags, analytics, AdWords, tracking codes, etc. Then you choose where you want to use this container. Uh, you can choose web pages or mobile apps. Since we're going to create Google Analytics uh, for a website, we will track a website. So I'll add my customer's domain and then the country. So we'll choose United States. This is the country where most of my customers are going to be. Uh, the ideal is to have the same time zone as my customers so we can track the activity with more accuracy. So we make sure the domain is properly written and we create the account. We can add as many domains as we want. Okay, so here is my, my customer container, the Google Tag Manager container that we have to install on every page of your website. In our case, we're going to install this one using WordPress. If you don't have WordPress, the ideal installation is to add it um, right after the body tag. Just paste this code as it is in front of the body tag. In our case, we're going to add this code using a plugin uh, for WordPress. The plugin I always use is this one, WP Google Tag Manager. This includes the code snippets for Google Tag Manager. I will activate it. I will go to the plugin dashboard. It's in settings. WordPress Google Tag Manager. So in this case, this plugin saves me the work of having to log in to the header files or the footer files or the template and add the code. I just have to add this ID and the plugin does the rest for me. This is ideal when you have a WordPress template because every time you upgrade or you update your, temp your template you will have to reinstall the, the code. So with uh, the plugin you will have no interruptions at all. So we go back to the Google Tag Manager, we're just halfway through. We just installed the Tag Manager. To make sure it's correctly installed, I refresh my website, I go to the source code and search for Google Tag Manager. So here it is. And with the proper ID. Another method to check if your Google Tag Manager is working is to install the Tag Assistant. This is an extension, a Chrome extension by Google that helps you uh, check all the tags that your website has. I find it very useful. So I already installed it, it's here, and I can see that one tag has been found. You can find this extension for free on the Chrome Store. So the next step is to get the Google Analytics working. I have already set up my Google Analytics account. So I get the tracking ID for my account and I go here, Google Analytics. I'm going to create the analytics tracking. You can call your tag whatever you want. So we're going to use Universal Analytics, which is the latest code and Google uses for tracking. And we add the tracking code here. In order to get the uh, universal analytics working, you want it to fire on all pages. So you have to go to the right, on the right column, 
and go to Fire and Rules and add the rule to fire it on all pages. Otherwise, the analytics will miss pages. We're going to track the track type is page views, and you don't have to worry about more settings. So we just want to track all the page views from all the pages. We click Save. We make sure everything is correct. We click Save. And then we go to the Google Tag Manager dashboard. In order to get the Tag Manager working, we have to publish it. Right now, it's just in standby. In standby. It's, it's basically a draft. We have to publish it clicking here. Just to make sure that it's not published, although we have already installed our code, um, the UA ID, it's still not getting detected by the Tag Assistant. So we're going to publish it, we click here, and we create a version and publish. So now it's already published. We don't see it did not publish anymore. We go back to our website, we refresh, and we make sure that the code has already been installed. And voila, it's already working. The Tag Assistant installs, uh, detects any errors in the, in the tag installation. If it's OK, it should be green. And the little tag here should be green. So that's it. Very simple. So we go back to your, our Google Analytics. And if you're having visits, right, you can check your visits right away in real time. In my case, since no one's logged in, there are no active visitors. OK, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.